Hello everybody, Suman Pachigula here. This video is for Ben Sales Recruiters. That what are the primary things, key things that a Ben Sales Recruiter should have in the position to become a successful Ben Sales person. Now it's less to do with skills, but more to do with how the person adapts the skills that are required. All right, not we are not talking about anything special, but here you need to understand what are the primary things that you got to focus in your day-to-day -day work so that slowly you will be going to the next level from where you are now now generally what happens you might experience that people might not be reacting to you properly you you try to reach so many vendors they may not be contacting you you might be sending emails to the recruiters for their contact information they may not reply to you you might be reaching out to different different clients and recruiters from us or on site they might not be replying to you you might be applying your candidates to multiple recruiters multiple positions they are not replying back now here that is another side of the reality okay now you think people are not replying do you think the uh, recruiters from us they are not connecting do you think that whatever the sales recruiters are submitting resumes they are not getting interviews and placements no so here the answer is if not getting a reply is your reality there is another reality is there that you get reply as well now the question is how you are going to increase the percentage of positivity than the negativity right that's what is required all the time now for that you need to understand you as a Ben sales recruiter the first thing is you are not there to just attach the resume paste the content about the candidate and send it across to a recruiter and you wait for things to happen and all of a sudden your candidate gets an interview and the placement happens and you are happy no it may happens here and there but most of the time you have to consciously engage and do certain things in such a way that that is going to change the result now that is what we are going to learn during this video that how you could able to put the things consciously or you do something deliberately so that you could able to get more replies than what you are doing previously all right now if things are not working with you it's okay it's all in the game you are not able to make proper placements it's okay it's all on the game and you are not able to generate much revenue and your candidates are not attending interviews or you are not getting interviews calm down it is normal if it continues then that is a problem but if you are facing that at this point of time understand that it is normal it is okay to have in this business but don't get scared don't get panic don't get stressed all right now from there you need to come out and find out how you could be a better recruiter and how you could do things in a better manner let's understand that part here so as a bench sales recruiter you need to understand one thing your candidates part another the requirements and third thing is relationship and contact all right that's what we are going to understand as we move forward during this discussion now here as a bench sales recruiter you must understand about your candidates strengths now when we say strengths th this is very vague uh, topic right now if i ask you what are your strengths then you might be thinking okay what could be my strength the same way the recruit the candidate might be stay thinking that what could be their strengths so apart from asking okay list down your strength you could ask okay what sort of what sort of uh, problems have you solved okay what sort of technical problems you have solved what is the the thing or what what, what is the what, what is the thing that you can do in a unique manner now let the candidate figure out that you don't have to worry about it okay 
technical expertise now here technical expertise is ask your candidate to rate themselves okay rate on skills now if they rate 7 out of 10 8 out of 10 5 out of 10 whatever ask them the question why you are rating that much now then that will give them a thought and they'll go back and they may have to rethink about their answer okay this is about rating and what is that this is about environments what sort of environments or what sort of culture they are good at okay what is that they like where they want to work meaning productive environment okay what sort of environment are going to make the your candidate productive and definitely you are going to look at the candidates previous uh, domains and so on so on and so forth now you got to understand what <coughs> the strengths strengths could be what problems your candidate solved how he can or she can handle things in a unique manner technical expertise environment what are the kind of environment your candidate wants to work in where they have worked previously and what was the productive environment for them and where they really don't want to work on and now at the same time you got to take the authority you have to be on authority side okay meaning you should be dictating the terms you should be dictating the terms that when the candidate should reply and when the candidate should take the call and so and so forth now if the candidate is taking you for a ride there is a high possibility that you might be feeling panic oh my god what is that my candidate is going to think oh what oh my god uh, what my uh, management is going to think he might become he might complain that to the management so many things you might be thinking right now here you need to understand you are there to help the company and the candidate to get the job and live a peaceful life that's it nobody is doing any favor to you for that you need to talk to the candidate in such a manner dear candidate i can only help you if you listen to me and if you help me to help you now if that needs to happen you got to listen to me exactly what i say before i put your resume in the market there are few things i need to understand so these are what so once you take the authority once you have collected the information then your resume is ready now that is the one part okay then second part what is the second part second part is about requirement hmm. second part is about requirement do you understand requirement properly that is what the question is now majority of the recruiter what you sales recruiter what do they do if there is a business analyst requirement came in and if you have a business analyst you just directly attach and send it across like a boom you get a java developer you have a bunch of java developers you attach and boom now do you really think that is going to help the recruiter when you are at a sales end let me explain you it better manner if you are in a sales sales side you call yourself as a bench sales recruiter right what do you understand a sales is what do you understand professional sales person do they solve problems now you as a bench sales recruiter need to understand what problem you are solving and whom you are solving it for what problem you are solving you are solving a project completion or someone is unfilled opportunity you are filling it with your product whose problem you are solving you might be solving a problem of an implementation partner or could be a prime vendor or could be a direct client how through your product now if you are on the giving end if you are on the problem solving end then how you should be presenting you should be presenting from the receiver's end not from the giver's end meaning 
you should be focusing on how you are going to solve their problem with your candidate not that you have just a bunch of candidates and you send it across and you let them decide what they want being a recruiter what i understood is if we get more information more reliability more authenticity from the sales side there is a high possibility that recruiters are going to love you now how you are going to differentiate yourself you go to differentiate yourself by being different from other sales person so be different in your approach be different in your presentation be different in preparing your resume it should not look like a copy paste resume from the market and so on and so forth now to happen that you need to talk to your candidate and get some write ups which comes naturally to the person when the recruiter copy paste the content in google the similar sort of wordings or the sentence should not pop up so it will tell that's a uniquely prepared profile all right now when you find a requirement don't just send your resume blindly but read it understand what the client is expecting what sort of environment what sort of technology what is exactly they want the person to do now if your candidate has done it explain that in a paragraph why do you think your candidate is matching to that role and send it across and that is going to get you more result relationship this is the third aspect that i'm going to talk which plays a major role in ben sales mark ben sales future or the success relationship could be with your candidate first relationship with the recruiter relationship with a client depending upon whom you are working with all right now prior to that if you are into ben sales understand your process that is very much important meaning once the offer comes how many days you take to file an lca if you are a h1b candidate that's your marketing for if you you are marketing h1b candidate what recruiters might be looking for they might look for your i797 they might ask for i94 they may ask for passport they may ask for a dl they may ask for linkedin profile so many things they are asking right and you know why and you know why recruiters or preferred vendors or clients ask for all this personal information because they want to authenticate where whatever the information you are selling is a true they want to finalize they need to fi- they want to find out that whoever the candidate they are working with that is a genuine candidate and you know that so if you have that can- information that you are open to share mention that in your email as well so once you understood your internal process once you have ready what are the informations that cl- uh, your recruiter might need and you understood what requirement is then you are presenting your candidate in a manner there is a high possibility there is extremely high possibility they are going to reply what do you think do you think they are not going to reply absolutely why because you are minimizing the recruiters or your client thinking process if you can think for somebody else and you help them to get an answer they will love you this is the secret in sales how you are going to build a relationship how you are going to build a contact when you as a sales person reach out to them to solve a problem that is where the relationship builds generally what happens recruit sales recruiters reach out please send me your cop to cop requirement please add this email to your distribution list please share your requirement direct clients requirement here i have a hot list and let me know if you have any matching opportunity now do you think that is how it is going to build a relationship people no that's not before you ask for something first give now it is totally up to you what is that you are going to give before you ask for a favor always try to give first then expect a some sort of favor or information from other person if you are reaching out to the direct clients if you are reaching out to the people who are in us if you are reaching out to the senior people who are in india whoever it is show that you are on the giving end first and let the bond build then ask for 
whatever you want all of a sudden from a blue you just go and send bunch of emails asking for information their phone numbers their client information a favor for requirements if you are doing that guess what hundreds and hundreds of recruiters might be doing that now there is no reason why they should not be replying right you know the reason why they are not replying so understand how you as a sales person can build relationship and that should be only telling them how you can solve their problem from your end and approaching in a friendly manner not asking for favor but giving for a favor got it now if you focus on these primary things initially i'm sure you are not going to be disappointed i hope you enjoyed this all the session and uh, let me know in the comment box if it was useful there are so many things there strategies techniques i'll be sharing with you and uh, see you again take care this is suman pachigula on a mission to impact 5 million lives through recruiters take care guys see you love you all bye bye